Welcome back to my YouTube channel and everybody don't forget, make sure you're subscribing below because we post videos every Wednesday and every other Monday and I wanna make sure that you don't miss a video. Now today, we're going to actually uh, talk about entrepreneurship a little bit. We've been asked a lot recently how I've grown my business, which I could probably talk about all day. In fact, our executive assistant Marisol was just telling me that every time someone asks me the question, she learns something new that she didn't know before, and she's been with me for over a year now, so she must be right. There must be a lot of information to share here. So in terms of how I grew grow my business. Well, let's start at the beginning. So just, you know, we'll have to do a video about how to actually start a business and the necessary steps to take. I promise we'll do that for you. But you know, once I did the basics, right, I got the web domain, I incorporated my business, I got a CPA, I got a California business license. Once I did the basics, it was on, it was game time. And my company has never taken any investment dollars. So it's always very important that my eyes are on on the ball and the ball is the money. Now, when I first started my business, I wanted to talk about internships like we do on YouTube all day long, right? That's all I wanted to do. But I quickly learned that if I talked about internships all day and I didn't figure out a way to properly monetize my business, I was gonna be in a lot of trouble because I wouldn't be able to pay the rent in my, in my apartment at that time, right? I wouldn't be able to keep the lights on. So I had to figure out ways to monetize my business. So today at Intern Queen, we have about five or six different ways that our business generates revenue. And I would expect that that will grow to closer to 10 different ways that we're able to generate revenue just by the end of this year. So we're always thinking of new ways to bring in money. And again, I'm monetizing my passion, right? I'm finding a way to do what I wanna do, which is help all of you all day long. So let me think of some other tips and, and tricks and things that I do to constantly grow my business. One thing that I wish someone told me to do a little bit earlier on is keep my eye on the numbers of the business. So every month, actually this year it's even more frequently, it's every two weeks, I go on QuickBooks. I use uh, QuickBooks online, check it out. Um, but I use QuickBooks and I go in there and I look at my expenses, I look at the money that we've collected, and I look at where we are for the year. Every year, usually in December, I put together goals for the following year. So in 2016, for example, I always know how much money I want the business to bring in every week, every month, and every year. So I'm always able to check this QuickBooks and log in and see where I'm at. Am I really behind on the goal? Am I really ahead of myself? What do I need to do for that next week or that next month? And I found that not only does that keep me motivated and like ready to tackle my goals, but um, it also keeps me very aware of what's happening happening with the business. When you don't get investment, and a lot of people like me, you know, we don't get millions of dollars, right, to run our businesses, you have to worry about the cash flow. And if once you start to hire employees, those employees, they have to be paid every two weeks. So it's up to the business owner to, again, keep their eye on the numbers and make sure that the money coming in is gonna be able to cover the money that has to go out every two weeks. So what you wanna do is you wanna keep those reoccurring expenses the your team the um, just anything that's a monthly expense you want to keep those numbers as low as possible right because that's money that you have to cover every two weeks or every month no matter what so keeping my eyes on the numbers and checking them every two weeks or every month has like saved my business and just done wonders for me as a business owner other things that I've done to to grow the business. Um, one is that I try to be a little bit loud about it. Even if I'm at a dinner with, you know, maybe it's my friends and they've invited a couple of more friends, I try to find a way to tell people what I do because you never know who knows who, right? Maybe I'm talking about intern queen at a dinner and then someone says, oh, I need an intern at my company. That's actually what happens the most frequently. Then I can say, oh great, you know, follow up with me tomorrow. And ooh, that, that's a sale, right? We got a new internship company on our site 
and now lots of young people can apply for that opportunity. So I think being loud about your passion is really important and making sure that you're being an advocate for yourself. There, you know, I, I do have a team and they're amazing at telling people about the business and about Intern Queen and you can hope, right, that word of mouth works in your favor, but I am my own advocate and it's really up to me, the business owner, to be very loud and proud about what I do. And that wasn't always easy. When I first started Intern Queen, I would go to conferences and I would like tiptoe up and I was like, hi, I'm Lauren. I'm the intern queen. And people looked at me like I was nuts, okay? So it takes a little while to build up that confidence and now I can you know, proudly go into a conference and say, hi, I'm Lauren. I'm the founder and CEO of Intern Queen. Nice to meet ya. That was me shaking someone's hand, if you didn't, if you didn't catch that. So again, being loud and proud about your business is very important. Um, some other tips that have really helped me, waking up early, getting your to-do list done before the day and the emails start to kind of take you away from what you originally wanted to accomplish is very important. I really lean on Sundays. Sundays is my day where I look at the entire calendar and I just make sure that I'm spending my time in the right ways. It's my opportunity to catch any Anything that might not make sense that's happening for the entire week and I try to make to-do lists before I go to bed for the next day and what that does is it keeps me from being a monkey I've done a blog about when I get in monkey mode and I basically slack off we're all like that right we'll have to link that blog below but um, if I make my to-do list the night before it ensures that when I sit down at my computer I'm immediately focused and I can zero in on what I have to do rather than get distracted and you start clicking and answering emails and going on TMZ.com, you know how it is. So those are some tips on how I've been able to grow my business. I hope that was helpful and I'm sure we'll continue to talk about this a lot on our YouTube channel. Thanks everyone.